Hey guys, before I do the uh, 3DS capture card setup, I'm going to be showing you uh, the basic stuff of what you will be getting with your purchase of having a 3DS capture card. So, let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be showing is the USB cable that comes with your 3DS capture card. Um, <clears throat> so, the smaller one, as you can see, or the thinner one, will be going onto your 3DS capture card. Well, the other side or the other end will be going to your PC. Okay, it's pretty si simple stuff. I mean, it's not that hard to set this thing up. Um, but do not lose this cable because this cable was only designed for the 3DS capture card. So if you lose this, um, you're going to have to buy another pair. And I do not know how much he charges for just buying a single cable. Okay, so. Do not lose that. Alright, the second thing you're going to be getting with your capture card uh, is a ground loop isolator. This is an audio cable for the 3DS capture. Um, this is very extremely important to uh, not lose as well simply because this audio cable um, neutralizes any background noises like humming, buzzing, or electric static type noises in the background of your audio. Um, and this is the only way you can capture audio, guys. You have to have an audio cable of some sort. Um, you can use a microphone or or a headset or something. I was, I was told that you could do that, but it's not going to be as clear as using a ground loop isolator. Um, this comes with all 3DS capture cards. Now, uh, when I got my capture card, it did not come with it. And... Um, I had to use something like this, uh, a standard audio cable that I got from Best Buy. Um, cost me about $18, I think. Um, this is a brand Dynex. Let's see if I got I got the box still. This is what it looks like in the uh, on the box cover. So <clears throat> stereo audio cable. Um, you know, this is replaceable, but uh, I will highly recommend not losing it. This does neutralize some of the background noises, but not all of them. So if you go to my early capture card videos, you can hear some of the noises in the background because I was using this, okay? But if you look at my newer videos, you barely hear any uh, interference in my audio sound. So make sure you always keep up with this or make sure you keep up with both of these cables because they're very important. But they come with the 3DS capture card, so you'll have everything ready to go once you um, purchase it. Okay, so I'm going to do the setup now. Uh, let's start with the USB cables. So this will go back, go back on your capture card, which will be right there in the middle section or area, right underneath the uh, the card slot. So you just take this cable and plug it right onto there, as so. And now, you get the other end, which will go to the PC. It goes right here. There we go. And once that's plugged in, you'll probably hear some kind of beeping sound on your laptop or PC that'll tell you that it's um, being plugged in or if you plugged it in the first time it will install the USB driver so you'll have to wait for that to be finished so the second thing will be the audio which you just plug any in to the uh, microphone slot of your 3DS like that and then the other end will go to your PC's speaker audio slot. So this will be right here. Alright. And you'll probably get a pop-up on your PC. If you're using Windows 7, you'll see something like this. Line in, mic in, and rear speaker out. Always choose line in because you'll have a bit, basically the best choice 
when it comes to the audio cable from the 3DS. So click line in. Alright, so basically when you turn your 3DS on, you're going to hear audio coming from your 3DS onto your PC. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is what it looks like all plugged up. And you can also charge your 3DS while you're playing. And you can just charge. Yeah, it'll work that way too. But you'll have a lot of cables to go through. So, but it, this is pretty simple, guys. It's nothing hard. It's not a hard setup. It's actually the easier setup than an HD PVR or something. This is extremely easy. It's it's less time consuming and everything. So, all right. So I'm done with the setup. Now I'm going to show you the files that you're going to need in order to get this thing cranking up on your PC. So, after you have seen the basic setup of the 3DS capture card outside the PC, now you will be seeing the software that you will need to be required to download in order to get this running on your PC. Okay, so first we're going to go to this website. Um, the link will be in the description if you don't know this already. Uh, this is the 3DS video capture board page basically giving you information and details um, before you want to buy it and whatnot but if you already have the capture card in front of you and you're trying to set it up we're going to have to download uh, the software and the driver so those two things you're going to need to download now I've already downloaded them so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's inside of them okay so once you get your two files from this page which should look like these two files here. They're going to be in zip folders, so you're going to need to have a program that extracts them. Um, WinRAR, there's a bunch of extractor programs out there that you can use. Okay, but um, I've already made a folder called 3ds Capture, and I extracted those two folders in here already. So I'm going to go open it up, and this is what you'll be getting once you extract them. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to move the driver into the program folder, but that's what I did. Uh, so what I did was I moved this folder here, and let's see, I put it in program files, and this is where I put the 3ds driver. There wasn't any brief instructions on where to move the folders after you extract them, so I just assumed that he wanted us to put them in our program file since it says time 86 so that's what I did there so it might be safe to do that just to be you know on the safe side to make things work perfect so move that 3ds driver into your program files times 86 okay um, so once you have everything already ready on your PC your softwares and your drivers already downloaded and assuming your 3DS is already plugged in, you can uh, go ahead and open this up. But first, turn your 3DS on. I'm going to turn my on. You're not going to hear any sound because um, I'm using my microphone instead of the audio cable of the 3DS. So you won't be hearing any 3DS sound. So I'm going to open this up, and there we go. And it's telling me do I want an update and I'm gonna say no all right so let's minimize this um, as you can see you get these three windows popped up um, the top screen the bottom screen and then you have your little uh, 3ds recorder screen over here now depending how good your PC is you can use this to record your gameplay uh, however my PC, my PC isn't really that great so I don't use this to record my gameplays I use Camstasia um, to record my gameplays. so I don't use this because every time I use this it just lags horribly I don't know any good settings for this video um, recording so I don't use this at all so what I do is uh, I minimize it just to you know move it out of the way. Uh, you could change the view of your 3DS screen 
Um, this is basically a, a good way to record a single screen. Just minimize the bottom screen. If you're using Camstasia, I highly recommend you use Camstasia because it lets you select an area where you want to record. If you're using Fraps, it's going to record the whole thing, you know, um, or both screens, I would say. So I would use Camstasia just because it can, re like, you can select this area of this one screen and record that one screen, that one top screen that everybody cares about. Um, but if you want to, you can change the view by clicking this right here. Change the view. Whoops. It's already in the same view. You can change the view back into its original form where it has both screens connected, which isn't a bad idea. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter if you record it in a single screen or both screens. If you're a good video editor, you can like crop the bottom screen out and still have that one top screen showing so it doesn't really matter I'm a good video editor so it doesn't really matter for me but um, this is what I this is what I usually record in uh, with my Pokemon videos this way but um, you can change the view any way you want it there's only two types of changing or two, there's only two ways you can change the view so you know don't ask if there's another way of changing it you know sideways or whatever crazy ways there's only two views you can actually change it to okay so that's basically it guys um if you want to mess around with the video settings you can um if your computer can handle it um you can do this kind of thing but i don't mess with the settings at all so because i don't really use this uh recorder so i just minimize it and um you can Make the screen bigger, just dragging it out. And uh, that's about it. Um, but like I said, uh, for those that skip the video or something and is warning that there's no audio sound, it's like I said before, uh, I'm, not, I'm not using my audio cable right now because I have my microphone plugged in instead. So you're only going to hear my voice instead of the game audio so that's why you don't hear any audio because you can't you know use an audio cable and a microphone that's using the same speaker hole at the same time so that's why you hear no audio but that's pretty much it guys um, I'm not gonna go into the game because it's not gonna have any audio to listen to so this is what it looks like on your PC um, if you have your audio plugged in then you will hear your you will hear the 3ds sound um, but um the only way you can do commentaries over this is basically, uh, you know, like doing a uh, audio or a rec voice recording in Sony Vegas or something. You, unless you have a separate speaker slot, you can do a commentary on this. Um, but if you don't like me, then it's not possible. You'll have to like record your voice over the video with the audio. So that's pretty much the only way you can do that. But uh. Thanks for watching, guys. This is just a basic tutorial setup on a 3DS capture card for those that are interested in getting this for Christmas or something. So, um, if you plan on getting this, I saved this video somewhere so you'll be able to know what to do when you have your capture card at hand. All right. So, thanks for watching.